Hello my lovelies, so as you can tell by the title, today I'm here with you with another Primark haul. Da -da -da. I'm so excited, so I've not done one of these since July and I really wanted to do one. So I nipped over to Primark and I picked up a few bits. So let's get on with it. So here is my bag. It's extremely heavy. I will basically just work my way through it for you. So be excited. So first I will start with the heaviest things in the bag and just get them out of the way. And these are some hangers. I got two sets of them. Basically, I have just bought a vintage wardrobe and I'm going to be shabby chic in it. So I thought I would pick up some hangers and they're extremely cute. They are the non-slip hangers in dusky pink and they have copper hooks, which is even better. I have a copper obsession. If you don't already know that, you will definitely see it throughout this video as I've bought quite a few copper items. But it was four pounds for 10, so you can't really go wrong. And there's nothing better than these non-slip hangers because it's such a pain in the ass when everything is just slipping off and you're having to constantly loosen it. But yes, I really needed those for my new wardrobe. <laughs> so next is something else, copper, I told you, obsession. And it's this. So this, if you can't tell what it is, is a jewellery stand. It's basically a T1, so I can slip rings onto here, necklaces, my watch, and everything. And this was £5. It's got like the marble bottom, and it's actually ceramic, which is so surprising. I thought it'd be like plastic or something, but this is actually quite sturdy. And I thought that it would look gorgeous with all of my accessories on. All of my accessories are rose gold. So sad but I love it, it matches my room aesthetic too. So yeah, I got that. Next was something that my boyfriend actually picked up, but I really wanted to put it in the video because it's something I wanted for ages, but we just got it for his house instead of mine as I have a really small bedroom already and I get so much stuff for it. And it's this copper, copper? See, I've got that much of an obsession that I keep saying copper. It's this cactus vase, vase, however you want to say it. I also have an obsession with cactuses. I have three in my bedroom which I just got because I did have some and they sort of were very old. Cactuses last a long time but they start to sort of, I don't know, mine just started to sort of look a bit sorry for themselves after about three years so I picked up some new ones and how adorable is this vase? It's so cute, it was £3 and it just looks so cute with a few little flowers in. Adorable! So next, more copper things. I picked up these for my makeup bag. I first saw these copper eyelash curlers. I curl my eyelashes every day so they're kind of a necessity. They were only a pound so that's just a bargain. I'm constantly using stuff like this. So to keep a pair in my room and then a pair in my makeup bag, that's just handy for me. And I also picked up some tweezers to keep in my makeup bag. Again, I have some in my room, but to keep them in my makeup bag would be a lot easier. And they were just a pound. They come with the more pointed, precise ones, and then the ones which have like the slanted part at the end. And again, copper, gorgeous, match my room. So cheap, so good, love it. <laughs> Next, again, for my makeup bag, I picked up this little mirror. So in my makeup bag at the minute, I have this mirror, which is literally like tiny, like it's like a tiny little Ted Baker one. And I do like my mascara and stuff like that up close, and I just find it so much easier to hold a mirror and do it like that. So I decided to pick up this one when I saw it. It's literally just simple matte black, and it was £1.50. Super cheap and so good with a little handle. I just find that so much easier as at the minute I'm having to hold this tiny mirror in my fingers. So yeah, I picked that up. Then even though it's turning into autumn now, which I'm really sad about, but at the same time I'm happy because I'm excited to throw on jumpers. I love jumpers. So I got these two pairs of sunglasses. It's still sunny sometimes. I live in my Ray-Bans, but not all the time I want to take them everywhere because they were 150 pounds and that's so expensive. But I saw these in the men's section, believe it or not and I decided to pick them up. So I got the ones with the gold rim and also the ones with the more like metal 
a gunmetal sort of rim and they're exactly the same they were reduced to two pounds because again it's just going from summer to autumn but I just like the shape on my face and this is the shape that like my Ray-Bans are and stuff so I got these just good to keep in my car and keep in my bag just in case I don't have my Ray-Bans with me so more home stuff which I'm completely obsessed with I picked up two more of these copper baskets if you watched my July haul I picked up one of these and I actually have it on my side at the minute with all of my like skincare stuff and a few perfumes and stuff like that in and basically when I get my wardrobe I'm gonna lose my chest of drawers because if you didn't know I have a box room I've described it before but literally I reach my arm out and I'm about this far from touching the wall and the wall's just here so I have a really small room so when I get my wardrobe I lose my chest of drawers so I won't have any drawers and I'll have nowhere to put all my hairsprays and stuff like that so I picked these two up which were literally are literally just going to slide into the bottom of my wardrobe and when I need all my hair stuff and stuff like that I can just pull them out and it's neat and tidy and it will look cute at the same time because it's copper and it will also match the hangers which is really sad because they're in a closed wardrobe but you know all about that aesthetic <laughs> so next I actually picked up a little lunch bag this thing is adorable my boyfriend paid for this for me because I saw it and he was like do you want it and I was like yeah so he got it it said it was meant to be a pound, but it was actually only 50p buzzing. But this just opens up into like a square. You'd actually get a lot of stuff in here, which is really good. And it just zips up and it's so cute. It's pink and it's got cactuses on it, which is two of my favourite things. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to use this for my lunch for work and whenever else I need it. <laughs> So next I actually got something else from the men's section. I don't know why I was shopping in the men's section so much this time, but I picked up this belt. It's twisted. It's just a simple black belt. It's just got like the black hoop bit at the top and it's just like faux leather. And I got it in a small and it's on the last hole. So I'm hoping that, um, I don't lose like any weight or anything because I will have to start punching more holes into it but in the women's section they've got like more decorative ones and the ones where like this bit's gold which I've got but I really just wanted a plain black one and my boyfriend had picked one up in plain black so I was like right I'm just going to the men's section then seems as the women's don't have any which is such a pain but I just got one of the men's ones. This was £4, which is pretty good for a belt. I mean, I've paid like £20 for a belt. So expensive to just hold your jeans up. But yeah, happy with that. <laughs> I then just picked up some 40 denier tights. These were only £3 for three pairs. Literally can't go wrong with tights from Primark. They constantly ladder, no matter how much you pay for them. So there's no point in paying stupid amounts of money for tights when they are literally just going to ladder or get holes in them. So yeah, I picked up some more of these. I don't have any tights at the minute, so I really needed some. Now it's getting a bit colder because I still want to wear skirts. I still want to, so got those. Of course, I couldn't go to Primark without picking up a bralette. I constantly buy bralettes when I'm in there. My collection of bralettes is huge I actually got rid of some the other day because I like revamped my underwear box I have like a box a vintage box which holds all of my underwear in it and it was getting very full so I got rid of a few of the ones that I don't really wear as much and then I picked up more so that's not great there's only one more so that's fine um, this was £3.50 and I just think this would be super comfortable to sleep in or throw on on a lazy day when I don't want to wear a proper bra I just want to wear a comfy bra and it's literally just grey velvet with a tiny little pink bow and it's like elasticated and so comfy so cute, I love it I picked up this gorgeous jacket so I actually went into Primark with the thing in my mind of picking up a like trench coat but I couldn't find any that I liked I found one but it wasn't the right shade of pink I really wanted it 
in pink but I couldn't find one in the right shade of pink so I'm gonna keep hunting until I find my perfect trench coat but I found this jacket this isn't anywhere near pink this is black but it's super gorgeous so this is what it looks like it's basically like faux suede and it has faux fur on the inside which is so soft oh my god this is like the softest thing ever and it's throughout the whole thing like all down the sleeves and everything which i love with a winter jacket because i hate it when it's just in one section you just want it to be everywhere you want the fur to be like over your arms and all that jazz and the fur goes over the sleeves and all the zips and details are in silver and then it's got a buckle around the bottom i got this in a size 10 it fits me so cozy and i honestly can't wait for the weather to get that little bit colder so i can start wearing this because this is super thick this will keep me so warm this is definitely an outdoor jacket if you were to wear this inside you'd probably get very hot very quickly but the amazing thing about this is that it was only £25 and it's basically a dupe jacket for the one they have in Topshop at the minute. And that is £59 and I do not want to pay £59. I change my fashion sense a lot and I know that if I was to pay that much for a jacket next year I probably wouldn't be wearing it because I know what I'm like. So I don't want to pay that much when I'll probably only get like one winter out of it. So I picked up this one because why the hell not, it's got pockets and it's basically exactly the same and I frigging love it, I can't wait to wear it, it's so gorgeous. So that is it for my haul, I hope you enjoyed it, as I said I picked up quite a few things, it was sort of like random but what isn't random with my Primark hauls. So if you are new don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and also leave a comment saying what your favourite item was that I picked up this time and yes thanks for watching, I will see you in my next video. Also I am doing a giveaway at the minute, I will link it below, it's also with my August favourites, I will put up the time where I start talking about the giveaway with the link as I know you may not want to watch it but I would be grateful if you did watch it. So don't forget to check that out if you want to be entered in my giveaway. I will see you in my next video. Bye!